If you love guacamole, then you're going to want to come out to the tasting extravaganza of the guac off that's happening here locally and in our kitchen. To tell us more about it and to have a little guac of fun, our sack and co in our sack of co, co kitchen, we have Ellie, Emily, and Laura. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. We're going to start with you. Um, tell us. Ellie a little bit about the guac off. Sure, so the guac off is a super fun fundraiser that we do every year. We pick a new charity to donate to and this year we're donating 100% of our proceeds to the Sacramento Children's Home. That's great, and what makes guac so great for the summer? Well, especially because everybody's trying to stay fit, guacamole can be really healthy and it's super refreshing. I definitely think of it as a healthy, healthy, healthy yep. treat. Um, now, you actually got started because you were in the competition. Yes. And so, so now you're a host of the competition. Yeah, my friend used to run it, and then I participated a couple times. I won a couple times, and then now I host it because I just love the event. She's like the, the grand champion of guacamole, and you brought a couple competitors here into the kitchen with us. So introduce us to your contestants. Yeah, so we have Emily. She is here from Serpentine Fox, who's actually sponsoring us this year. So she's going to represent the restaurant. And okay. then uh, we have Laura over here, who's going to represent her little recipe. This is her first time entering. Okay, well, I'm just looking at what we have here, and you have two different distinct types of guac. They don't look the same. Yeah. All right, so Emily, yes. tell us what makes yours so special. So mine I like to put in a food processor, and I use sour cream, so it's really creamy, and spices. You think you're gonna win? Um, I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, tell us about yours. What ingredients do you put in yours and what makes yours so unique? Uh, so I put oil, canola oil in mine, which a lot of people actually don't do. It helps it stick better and I use a fork to mash it up. So, and then all the normal spices. Now, have you been competing? I mean, like, do you do this no, all the time? No, it's my first time, so okay. I'm really excited. Okay, all right, all right. So, um, I mean, how do we, how do you pick? Like, how do you know what's a good guac? Sure, so, well, at the guac off, we're gonna have about 20 different guacamoles and then everybody will get to taste test them. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really your own preference. Some people like cilantro, some people hate cilantro. Some people really like the limey taste that can go in guacamole. Mm -hmm. I prefer a very uh, tart guac. So tart. with lots of lime and lots of cilantro. And, and how important is it to have the right chip for tasting? Chips are super important because if you get a salty chip, it can affect the taste of your guac. So at our competition, we try to get a all natural corn chip that has very little sodium. All right, so I wanna bring in um, some taste testers to help me out. I guess I can go ahead and, and start off. Um, any tips on how to get the right kind of a taste? Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna <laughs> get your chip ready. Okay. And then you're gonna do kind of a dip Oh wow, swirl. that's a lot. Like, you're gonna bite that all in one bite? <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna have Ellie? to break this one in half a little I'm bit. I'm gonna have like guac face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really good. Oh. All right. Okay, so you're saying I, sh I should go in and-, and You should uh, go in. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna get a little chip. I'm not gonna overdo it here. I've never had uh, guac of this more. I usually have gr more green guac. So anyway, super mm, creamy. pretty good. Okay, it's super creamy. It's the it's sour. We've got to come. Don't be shy. Come in and taste, guys. Okay. Ready? I'll try this one. I'll first. try this one. And, and keep your keep your uh, thoughts until we're ready to know it's the winner. <laughs> So at Guac Off, we do mm -hmm. a uh, first, second, and third That's prize right. winner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we actually have a fourth place. So <laughs> some people try to make a yucky guac, and they yucky get guac. the last oh my. place. Mm -hmm. So how would you guys feel if you got Ooh. yucky guac? I mean, you still get a prize, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all about winning for any reason. Okay, let me give this one a try. These are both really good. I don't know. Okay. Judges, how are we going to decide who's going to, are we going to, I guess, are we going to like give, you're going to, well, this will be one number one and this is number two or like A or B and you tell me which one you want. Creamy, chunky. Creamy, chunky. There we go. So, um, we'll mm -hmm. start with you. Okay. Here are in-studio <laughs> taste testers. So, I like the texture of that one better, okay. but I like the taste of that one better just because it kind of tastes like cumin and spices. I'm not sure. All right, so you're going, going with A. I think so. All right, and we have Paige. I'm going with A. Oh, any any particular reason you're picking A? Uh, the, um, the flavor is really popular. I do like the texture of this one, but the flavor is A. You guys combine them. <laughs> All right, two for A. And you know what, I, I did prefer A. The, the flavor just really popped. But B wasn't bad either. You know, I like yeah, guac. B was delicious too. So, um, but everyone here is.
is a winner because we will surely finish all your guac for oh, you. Yes. <laughs> Please do. All right. Yeah. So how do you feel being our mini guac winner? I feel great. Can't wait for the um, the event. All yeah. right. <laughs> okay, we'll keep on cooking. And um, where can people go for more information if they want to just check it out or get you know, a few sure. tips themselves? Um, <laughs> so you can go to Serpentine Fox Facebook page or the Guac Offs Facebook page, and that'll give you links to our event right for the free tickets. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.